This is the altered state of adventure. For years, adventure motorcycles have been gaining size and mass. But now, smaller and lighter rally-inspired adventure motorcycles are coming to the forefront. And we have two of those bikes that are leading the charge. We have the KTM 790 Adventure R and the Yamaha Tanneray 700. Tomorrow morning, we're gonna wake up and we're gonna ride off of this dusty dry lake bed up into the mountains and see which one comes out on top. KTM 790 Adventure R is packed full of KTM's tech, like lean-sensitive trash control and ABS, off-road ABS, ride modes, a full-color TFT dash, and Bluetooth connectivity, all features you'd see in bloated big bore ADVs. Yet thanks to a compact engine and frame, the 790R weighs in at 468 pounds on the Cycle World scales. A WP Explorer 43 millimeter fork and linkageless PDS shock provide 9.4 inches of travel at both ends that have preload, compression, and rebound adjustability. Fuel capacity of the low slung rally style fuel tanks is 5.3 gallons, and all of this comes in with a price tag of $13,699. Yamaha's Tenere 700, on the other hand, rings in at $9,999. And for that, you get a more stripped down adventure motorcycle. Trash control for the revered CP2 parallel twin is found at your own wrist. Ride modes are also absent, but you get two modes of ABS, on and off-road, which is a more exciting way of saying on or off. A 43mm Kayaba fork strokes through 8.3 inches and has rebound and compression damping, while the rear Kayaba shock is adjustable for preload, compression, and rebound, and it provides 7.9 inches of travel through the linkage design. A no-nonsense LCD gauge does not connect to anything besides the motorcycle itself. On the CW scales, the Tenere comes in at 466 pounds, just two pounds less than the KTM. But those additional $3,700 bills in your back pocket will cut that weight in half. Power from both the Tenere 700 and 790 Adventure R is well suited for aggressive adventure riding, with plenty of power to cover highway stretches and enough punch for really aggressive off-road duty. The Tenere 689cc dual overhead cam CP2 engine has a lively punch down low giving it a very dirt bike like character right off the bottom. A quick tug on the clutch lever lofts the front end over obstacles with ease. Once you hit the upper half of its 10,500 RPM tack, the crossplane twin begins to run out of steam. Although the Yamaha's engine has an entertaining and usable punch, it's outclassed by the LC8C parallel twin powering the 790. By the time the engine reaches 3,000 RPM, the KTM's power and torque rockets away from the competition. At 799 cc's, KTM has a displacement advantage of 110, allowing it to put out more horsepower and more torque than the CP2. But more important than power output and quarter mile times is how well the machine puts the power down in the dirt when traction is variable. Although it has the most power, the KTM is more manageable when the going gets loose as it should be given its lean sensitive traction control and ride modes. It's especially good when using rally mode, which allows for on the fly adjustment through nine levels of rear wheel spin. Even in the loosest setting, the KTM still moves forward out of a corner while the rear end steps out and chucks rocks from the rear tire. You can turn off the TC completely, but you can't be better than KTM's dialless slide technology. On the Tenere 700, it's all up to your know-how and skill, but it's easy with such an agreeable engine. With some clutch work and a well calibrated wrist, it's possible to be 90% as efficient as the KTM. But when the off-road terrain gets loose and rocky, you'll become more tired quicker as you jockey for every ounce of rear tire hookup. On the mountain roads, both bikes handled much better than they should on the tight and twisting blacktop. Here the Yamaha was a step ahead of the KTM with better front end feel while leaned over. It's almost super moto-like in its ability to charge into a corner. Even on its chunky Pirelli Scorpion Rally STR tires, the Yamaha is connected to the asphalt. The Adventure R, on the other hand, feels more like a dual sport, with less connected feel to the front tire. It's clear where the KTM is focused. And that's in the dirt. The KTM feels like an overgrown dual sport. Feet up or legs out, standing or sitting, it's easy to hit your mark on the KTM. You can feel when the front tire is biting and when it isn't giving you massive confidence. The low center of mass makes flicking the Adventure R into corners quick and controlled. 
It's a looser, less controlled ride on the 700, largely in part to those Rally STR tires that work so well on the street. There's less sidewall bite as you lean the bike over, and there were multiple times the front end had to be saved with extra throttle and a foot down while trying to hang with the KTM. Differences in suspension performance on the street are negligible, but once again, the KTM outclasses the Yamaha the further you stray away from the road. Less travel, softer springs, and less aggressive damping from the KYB suspension has the Tenere at its limits well before the longer travel adventure are. At slower speeds, the Yamaha is compliant and comfortable. Don't expect to attack the trail like you're in a rally bike, but you'll be leaving your buddies who aren't on KTM 790 Adventure R's in the dust. On the KTM, you'll swear your name is Toby Price, at least until you get in over your head and you're reminded that this is still a 468 pound motorcycle. As the Tenere 700 begins to bottom out, the 790 is just starting to find its happy place. Jumps, small whoops, and G-outs are just laughed off. Get on rough, rocky single track and just pin it. Small bump compliance is just as good as the big bump compliance. It makes you wonder how close this contest might have been with an extra $3,700 put into the Yamaha suspension. But as it stands, if you want to travel in the dirt as fast as possible, the KTM is the clear choice. As with traction control and ride modes, more options in tech are available on the 790R than the Tenere 700 when it comes to the brakes. KTM's lean sensitive ABS has three choices, on, off-road, and off. It's well calibrated and it's not intrusive at the wrong times. The off-road setting is especially impressive with a specific ABS setting for the front tire without any ABS on the rear tire. This gives you confidence on fire roads, dry lake beds, and even steep, loose downhill sections. We only turned off the ABS completely to test the function. Notably, in the rally setting, the off-road ABS setting remains engaged even when you turn off the bike. That means no surprises after taking a break on the side of the road. The brake feel from four piston radial mounted calipers gripping dual 320 millimeter discs is exceptional. A squeeze of the lever gives a strong initial bite that isn't too much for the dirt. The rear brake's dual piston floating caliper and 260 millimeter rotor is communicative and strong. On and off are your ABS choices for the Tenere 700. Both worked well with just as much control and confidence as the KTM. We won't knock the fact that off-road turns the ABS off completely for the front and rear tire. We just didn't miss it. Deactivating the ABS is easier and more straightforward than the KTM, requiring only a single long press on a dedicated dash button. However, unlike the KTM, the Yamaha's ABS reverts back to road settings each time the 700 is turned off. This did cause a handful of, oh no, I'm not stopping moments when we forgot to do the long press after taking a break on the side of the road. Pull the lever to actuate the Tenere's four piston Brembo calipers and you're met with a soft initial bite on smaller 282 millimeter discs. This is more friendly to less aggressive riders and even with the less aggressive feel, braking power is there as you squeeze harder. The rear brake, however, is not up to the standards of the class. Stomping on the rear brake lever reveals a mushy lever that goes from underwhelming right into ABS. It either kicks back on the street or it locks up completely in the off-road setting. Adventure riding has always been about long days on the bike, and both the Tenere and the 790R provide plenty of comfort. Similar seat heights stretch the inseam, but if you want good ground clearance, you have to get up in the air. Both have roomy cockpits with long seats allowing for plenty of movement. Both are narrow in the midsection, however, it's easier to get up over the front on the KTM when standing thanks to that low slung tank. The tank also has more capacity at 5.3 gallons to the Tenere's 4.2. The Tenere is slightly more fuel efficient, returning a 41.5 mpg average compared to the 790's 41.3. On the highway, the Tenere offers better wind protection from its taller and more vertical rally style screen. Each covers the basics convenience wise, but the KTM offers some features to make travel more pleasant. Like its full color TFT dash that you can connect to your smartphone and headset to display calls and music data. You can also get turn-by-turn -turn navigation on that screen via the KTM My Ride app. Cruise control is an option for the KTM, but not on the Yamaha. Both bikes do have provisions for optional side cases, if you must. As the sun set over the San Bernardino Mountains, thousands of feet above our starting point, the KTM remained the king of the middleweight class. Yamaha has built something special in the Tenere 700, which both looks the part and backs it up with a well-balanced chassis and an engine you can't help falling in love with. It's the ultimate value in adventure bikes. But the KTM 790 Adventure R is the ultimate performer. 
More power, better suspension performance, and lean sensitive rider aids push the limits of what can be done with an adventure motorcycle.